Hello everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to fix a blue light of death on your PlayStation 4. That's for those who are um, experiencing this problem. Okay, now there's three steps to actually find out, um, um, try out and see if it works. But it's not guaranteed because not everyone um, f not everyone ha gets makes it work. Okay, because it could be just the actual PlayStation, um, there might be a parts that's um, damaged that you have to get replaced. Okay, so those who don't have any guarantee or anything, um, try these three steps and hopefully it works. Okay, so first of all, obviously, I don't have no wires, I've got to set it up like this so I can show you the third step and it's easier to show as well. But the first step is when you have your AC adapter which is connected at the back of this, all right, and your HDMI. Now, sometimes the HDMI cable might be a very cheap one or very faulty one. If you get that replaced, this is just a, tr a tryout. If you just uh, replace that, most uh, is a very small number of people. It actually works, okay. And another way, um, as a, as a first step, is take um take off your AC adapter for a, for a bit, and then take off your HDMI cable and leave it for a while. Then put it back on and try it. Okay, that's the first step. The ste second step is. Hold your um the actual uh, power button for seven seconds, and it will make a sec uh, two beeps. After two beeps, it w the system should come up on your um TV, and when it, it will say um initialize. All right, there's gonna be a few um options, but initialize your PS4, but it will literally reset everything, and that's another way that it will work. But that's if you are actually for um PS4 that um switches on, okay. But that's not I'm telling you now that's not guaranteed. And the third step, okay, um, if you just take off, basically just slide it down like this, alright, it's very easy, there's no screws or nothing on, and you basically just take it off like that, okay, now your hard drive is literally placed here, okay, so if this was ever repaired, there might be a chance that it's, it might be due to the hard drive, because it might not be placed properly or connected properly, and that can give you a problem with the actual hard um, PS4 um, starting up okay so you can just have a try but if you have a screw already put on right here there's a big chance it's already connected but I would just say um, just have a try scale life of a round um, screwdriver four squared one and just take that off it's very easy to take off and let you slide it out now if there's any dust or anything just blow it out um check just check your actual um the inside of this if there's any dust or anything just to just to make sure it's nothing um preventing it, pre preventing the actual hard drive connecting all right and then do do not it literally says on that do not actually press on that or touch the hole or anything like that because if you do the warranty will be um, avoided as well and on top of that it could damage your actual hard drive okay so don't touch the top bit just hold the bottom bit and literally just put it back in again like that and just pull your um, screwdriver on now this is the only three steps that I could recommend trying it because it does work for a small number of people and if it doesn't work then the only option is to actually get a new one or get um contact Sony to get a replacement or get it repaired. That if you have if you have warranty you'll get it repaired for free. If you don't you might get charged that's all. So thank you for watching my video. Please do like and subscribe and I hope this works for you.